I'm gonna be my mom. Jason, get in this motherfucking house! I went in there. I was the only motherfucker in a mask. What do you think? What the fuck? What do you think's wrong with that? The cop was like, um, you got a gumball machine and a road sign in your trunk. And I was like, no, no. <laughs> and he made me get out and walk around and fucking, by God, if I didn't have a road sign on a bubble gum machine. He's like, I'm going to take the road sign. He was like, I don't know what you do with this bubble gum machine. It was, you know, it, you know. I would like to wonder what would happen to you now if you got pulled over with that shit in your trunk. You know, like, I felt like back then, like, people were like, kids are gonna be kids, you know? They're gonna steal a gumball machine. So, this this place, this little place nestled in, in the mountains here, like, you know, led me to be more than, like, just one dimensional. Like, I just didn't hike. Like, Damascus... Virginia is the gateway to the outdoors. Just this weekend, uh, catching brown trout behind the cabins. Uh, went up and did a Mount Rogers sum with the ponies with a foot of fresh powder up there. Uh, come back down for a run on the creeper and a bike on the creeper and go back up to White Top and ski off. And uh, this is the beauty of, of this place in the mountains is you come to a place like Damascus and the people here are full of grace and civility. Uh, they encourage you. Jason, what, what, did, what can you do in 72 hours? You know, and I, I try to do it all. And there's some stuff I, I, I can't get to here in, in 72 hours. And I wish I could. Like I said, the people here are probably the most welcoming. When we were up on White Top, we got buried on a, in a drift. And, um, you know, most people would call a tow truck. But I knew, we sat around five minutes, here comes somebody with a rope, ready and willing to help and share a laugh about it. You know, got us right out. This is just what you do, you know, here. And, and this is the beauty of this part of the Appalachian Mountains is... I get a big, huge kick out of it when I get to pull somebody's car out of the damn ditch. You know what I mean? This is awesome, you know? And even when my car is getting pulled off, I'm like, this is awesome, you know? Like, because if you're doing things to get stuck, then you're doing the best shit you possibly can. So, I, that's what I love about it. <laughs> so, I think when you come to Damascus and people always, you know, say, Jason, welcome home. When we come back... There is no place in this in this world that will touch us that grew up in Appalachia like the people and the mountains will when we come back. I used to think maybe that was just reserved for us that grew up in these hills. But I've come to find out over these races that people who come also get filled with that same feeling. And, and maybe it's just the magic of the Appalachian Mountains. The mountains do have these loving arms that just welcome me back every time. And I, at the race, I see these people come and they just get filled with that same magic. So maybe everyone gets touched by these mountains in some special way. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> you like, was that good?
Just let me hang around here in Suffer City. I've got no place else to go. No, 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 no. Where, where does one steal a gumball machine from? Ah, uh, you know, like it was like at a Perkins or something, you know, like where they have. You know where you like walk through a door and then go into another door and they always have like that St. Jude's, you know, like charity candy out there. Like I just probably picked it up and walked out. I, I would assume, you know, I, I I didn't even remember. Like it could have been in the damn car for like three or four days for all I knew about. Somebody could have just put it in there. <laughs> Who would put this in my car? <laughs>